everybody um this is uh studio ed you're speaking to crafty jojo and i want to show you the swaps that i received in return for mine and um i got plenty i have a bag full of it but i want to um specifically um point some out that really stung my eye because they put a huge effort in it so um for example this one is a very very cute card it's all colored in by hand stamped nicely and it has been made by lorraine williams of Jilly Creatives, Jilly's Creative Crafters team. So I love this. Uh, thank you very much for swapping with me. Um, this is very cute. I'll keep it. Then this is uh, very similar actually to um, my idea. Though thanks God, uh, different at the end of the day. But I want to uh, mention this one as well because um, I really like it. And this was made by Diane from the thepurplerosestamper.com. So thank you so much again. This one is also very pretty. She put a lot of effort in it because it's been embossed and die cut and stamped. And um, I like the cute little color coordinated bow as well. And this was Julie Forbes. Thanks, Julie. I love your card. And this is another one that is so pretty. And this was made by Jenny Moores. Jenny Moores from Stamping Moments. And... Um, it's also very very cute I, I really really like it and this one I fell in love with because it features both my favorite paper as well as my favorite flowers so this is really really nice and this one was made by Laura Hill the stamping cat cats are good anyway I got 10 of them so I will keep that one as well and this one the dragonfly I really love I love the marble background uh, stamp because I use that all the time as well I used it actually in my own swap in the um, I made a little bags with uh, wildflower seeds and um, for that project I also used a marble stamp, background stamp. And this one was made by Diana, though I don't know which Diana, but Diana. Very nice, I love it. I got plenty of bookmarks, but this is the ones I found the cutest, so I picked this out to give it a special mention as well. And that's Lynn Antel. And she made this one and it's super cute. I love it. And she made so much effort. You know, she colored it in. She shaded it. It's all color coordinated. It's really cute. I like it. Thank you so much. And um, another project that was really, really outstanding is this one. Look at this. Just look at it. It's amazing. And this was made by Tracy Kiffone, if I speak if I say that right. If not, um, please forgive me. English is my second language, so I don't know. Tracy. And uh, it's super cute. I love it. I'll probably even hang it on my wall or something, put it in a little frame because it's actually too nice to be a card. I think this is a picture. So what else have we got? Look at this. Somebody, uh, who was it who made this? This is Denise Shepherd. Look at it. I love it. She made a cute little belly band and then when you open it, ta-da, isn't that cute? Wishing you a dapper day. Of course, using dapper denim as well here. Lovely. Thank you so much. I think this is also very cute. And um, I must say some people didn't put uh, as much effort into their swaps as others did. That is probably down to um, financial means, time, uh, health, and I don't know what. But um, I, I really want to recognize the ones that really stung my eye because I know you all put so much effort in it. And this is not going wasted. It's not going in the bin. I'll keep all these. Believe me, I'll keep them because I'm in my first year of stamping up and I'm on my journey. This one is also a very, very cute swap. Unfortunately, I have no clue who made it. There is at least, I might have lost a message if there was a message who made it. But what I like about it, look at this cute detail. She even stamped the wooden stirrer. Isn't that cute? So this is so nice. I love it. Another one that at the beginning I thought, oh, that's a bit simple but actually when i saw what it was uh, i thought oh that's a great idea so i want to mention it as well and this is a brooch and it's made by tanya pratt and um i really like it and i think this is a lovely idea so i'm going to keep this one as well keep it in the bag so it doesn't get hurt this one i have had to open because i'm a curious person and this one was made by uh, Karen McDonald look at what she did she really made an effort because first of all she chose the right paper for me because I'm a pink girl so I loved it and it was all oh, it's filled this envelope is filled with cute little goodies like um, 
chocolate, tea, coffee and more chocolate. So that was really nice. And um, I just like the way it looks. And it's a very cute way of um, giving away some small goodies like this. So thank you so much for your time and effort. And I'll keep it. Now, another one that really is amazing. I don't even know what this is. Sherbet fountain. Don't know. Um, some some sweet treat, but uh, the way she wrapped it up and put this little clip on and then she made a tag uh, That is layered with dimensionals and things like it. She added her card here. That's Andrea Nichols. I love it I think this is also very cute very neatly crafted. Thank you so much. I appreciate your swap and this is great going to my collection and now we're coming to the ones that I think are Wow this one actually is a little book and this is elasticated and it is uh, laminated so um, it doesn't wear off and it, it contains of several little books that form the pages and they are all laminated and the best of it is you can take them out as you can see and refill them so um, I think this is a very great idea I like the way the binding works so um, this is surely one of the best projects i got and this is from Anne ronsky thank you very much Anne. i never even thought of this way of finding um a booklet a mini album and i love it and i'm it's too nice to be used so it's going to sit in my cupboard forever as well thank you very much i really love this swap it's great another one that is also a lot of effort is this little booklet that somebody made so look at it <laughs> it's unbelievable so she put the effort, I like that she didn't put just one chocolate, she put five and um, then there is a little pouch here and this is Taylor's Spiced Apple Tea and this was made by Judy Hill. Thank you very much Judy, I really like the effort you put into this and everything is crafted so nicely and also my favourite, the fresh florist paper is one of my favourite papers and I think this is a great idea as well so I'm keeping it, thank you so much. And this one, I thought, well, this is unusual because it's not really designer paper, although I like the idea of using catalog pages to make a little envelope. And then I pulled it out and I thought, what is this? Until I realized that these are pearls made from our designer paper. You have to really, I don't know if you can see it, you have to look closely. Look, this is so much effort and you have to be so precise to end up in the middle and everything is straight. I don't know really how this technique works, some sort of quilling technique, but I love it. I think this is the best swap I ever received because now I have something I have to investigate. I have no clue how to make this, so I probably um, will ring Debbie Dramis and get on her nerves until she explains to me how she makes these. I love it. I think it's super cute because I often have leftover designer paper strips that could easily be used for quilling. And I love it. So this was amazing. So this was... The most amazing swaps of course there are all the others are also nice as well for example this is an unknown artist i don't know whom to thank oh sorry it's inside so i know whom, whom to thank jillian selwood purple jelly designs so she put in um tea lights and i like the closure it's really really cute i need to put this back in otherwise i'll lose it so um this one was cute and this one was also special because at the beginning I thought, huh, is this stamping up? But it is because she stamped the images with the stamp sets and um, that's the waterfront stamp set and the stamp and write markers and watercolor paper and that was Tracy Allen. Um, I think this is a really, really nice and I'm going to find a necklace, like something that um, goes with it. I only have silver ones, so because this is antique bronze, I probably need to buy something. But I think this is really, or maybe a leather cord or something, I don't know. But I think this is a very interesting swap as well, and surely something different. So thanks so much for this one, I love it. Then um, I have unknown artists here. I like this because it's the closure that is so special here. This one was made by... Um, Oh, after eight, I could actually eat one. Uh, thanks. This one was made by Karen Tatton. Thanks, Karen. I love it. And um, how do you close it? Like so and so. And this one goes underneath there. I don't want to break it. Is that right? No, it's not. Well, I'll find out later. So this one was also very nice. I liked it. 
just feeding myself very good and then um well i don't know where this coffee comes from this one this one is also cute rosy miners jazzle dazzle crafts janice thompson also i like this um because i thought it's a card but it's not it's a little um jota pad so very nice jota pads loads of these stuff i don't even know what's inside here this one was made by laura mackey very nice too nice to be opened look at all this oh i look i also love this one great karen barley thanks karen i love it and elizabeth craft room oh look at this this is my favorite paper as well well i have only have favorite papers and i absolutely like the background here this is so nice this was made with brushels and glimmer paper by christine's craft thanks christine i'm going to investigate how you made this and then i have loads of things i honestly look at this is also a very nice bookmark another very nice one this is cute because i always break my nails so this came in handy i've already used them so i can't show them this was from my team member Catherine. she made this is after eight in it as well um i don't know no name i haven't opened it yet it might be inside but uh, whoever made this it's very nice thank you uh, jenny mccormick made this one sending smiles across the mars seemed to be popular now look at this awesome unfortunately unknown uh, this one is um penny thanks penny i don't know who you are but i appreciate your work and thanks for swapping with me this one as well very nice color choice like the stamping as well uh, unknown artist um this is also nice because it's um a coaster cork coaster and i lost the belly band um it's somewhere in my bag another this one um uh i can't open it now but it's from uh, some here's the belly band so this actually goes like so to keep this box shut very cute as well this is um failure of the cello tape this one is cute don't know who made it have to open it probably to find out oh look at this um this one is also very very nice i like the big clip and this is my favorite paper and this was made by rosa johnson oh my name is johnson as well hello rosa thanks love it bookmarks look at this also a very nice card made by jan malcolm thanks Ma jan and jane owen and this one is deborah carter this is a cute little envelope don't know what's in it let me see um rosy minus shower gel ah probably maybe i looked a bit smelly don't know <laughs> i love it thank you very much um uh, anyway i love all these tiny little envelopes and uh, belly bands they're always a nice little treat to give away so love that one look at this another pencil uh, i don't know i seem to have lost but look at this i love it what's in it milky way yum 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 and um it's the closure is violet gibson thanks violet i really like it because this is um such a lovely paper and simple but cute so as you can see my table is bursting with swaps um unknown artist with um oops just broke it with um more after eight things more chocolate from an unknown artist I haven't opened this one so i don't know yet who whoever made this very cute thank you very much and this is another one uh, this is danielle rose i don't know why i ended up with two i hope i wasn't greedy or maybe i swapped twice with her for because i had two different swaps and i have another coffee pad here so um i also had this one which i quite like because um if you open it it's just a simple piece of cardstock like that and it it's the way it's folded that it makes it somehow special so yeah there's loads of stuff here thank you very much i really enjoyed the whole event and i'm so chuffed with the new catalog um i don't know i haven't planned haven't um set up my mind how i'm going to um get all the money together to buy everything i want it's like i think like maybe three thousand quid or something but um thanks for all the swaps 
you were all awesome. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy mine. I would appreciate some feedback. All right. Thank you. Bye.